So you can see here, the first thing that's going to glare out at me when looking at anyone's swing from down this line, I'd always look at the posture. And that's what I noticed when I walked up. The first thing I saw you hitting as I was walking up, and I was like, okay, his posture is much different than the last time I saw him. So you can see that your low spine is very vertical, which makes you have to round off the upper spine, the thoracic spine, and hunch over to the golf ball. We want your body to feel like it's on about a 35 degree tilt from the top. So, you know, if I had a 90 degree line here and we went through his body, oh wow, now that 35 degrees is about how much you want to tilt from the top there. And you can see with you right now, we've got more of a 15 degree tilt of the low spine and then that makes you have to compensate and hunch over your thoracic spine. So what we want to try to do is push the middle of your, your hip chassis back more so that you tilt and, and feel your tush well behind your heels. There you go, and that's, that's gonna properly tilt you and then you're gonna have a pretty flat back. There will be always be a little softness and roundness to the shoulders and you definitely don't wanna get too lordotic which means you arch your back too much. But you do wanna have a nice tilt at the waist where we can clearly see that your belt line your belt buckle is lower than the back of your belt. And you can see here, if we, we had you a belt line on, it would be much more level to the ground. And that, and that setting that angle allows you to properly have better um, planes, swing plane, club path, hand plane, arm plane. Uh, those, those things are so important. And that's why we always take this red line here, put it on a regional shaft plane. And that's kind of our guideline for the downswing. Now backswing, it can really go into any area. If I take a line, put it from there on the shoulders, as long as the backswing stays in between that V, it's pretty good. There's no need to chase symmetry of the backswing. That's where your backswing does be quote unquote perfect thing. Because really downswing and impact are all that matters. So as long as your backswing somewhat goes in the V, and you can even see Sergio goes a little underneath it here, and I don't think anybody would, uh, not many people would say that Sergio is going to feel golf like an ability, but you're watching the way down. Watch his hand clap here. So if we trace from the top of his backswing, I love this position he's in because his left arm to where it was at address. So if we do the same thing with your swing, and we identify where we would like our hands to come back to, right in that area, we get you to the top of your back swing here, and you can see just a little bit, you're letting the club fan open or, or hinge to the inside a little much. We'll talk about that. At the top here, a little bit, flatter left arm uh, than your swing plane. So again, like I said, back swing doesn't matter so much, but now do we get our hand path to ride this yellow line right back into that circle? And the answer is no. You can see it's going much more out toward the golf ball. And then that's where we get the over the top move. And that's, you know, almost instinctive to players. You've got the club in your hand, the ball's right there. People want to take their hands direct to the golf ball, where really you need to change your thought pattern and really swing the handle. Worry about where we're taking and putting the handle. And the object is, is to replace the handle and the downswing back through the area it was at address. Now you can also see here on the way down how early your 
your right shoulder comes in. And that's what we're going to talk about, how to drop that 